the problems which labor is facing with the exporting of jobs, the problems on pensions and the problems on health care, and from chairing the Appropriations Subcommittee for 10 years, what labor has gone through with the National Labor Relations Board, not being a fair adjudicatory body, what has gone on with OSHA, what's happened with MENSHA and mine safety. And I know the problems you've had in organizing, and I heard my friend Mike Doyle go over a long list of problems that I agree with. And I know the difficulties you have in getting the first contract. And I am working hard to find legislation which is going to be a little different than the way it's proposed in employees free choice, but will be enacted by the Senate. Now it takes it takes 60 votes. And I've been working with John Sweeney and Rich Trumka and Bill George and Andy Stern and Eileen Conley and many, many others and with many senators to come to that conclusion. We had a long meeting last Thursday. We've got another one on Tuesday, and I'm committed to find an answer which will satisfy you. I'm committed to find an answer. I'm committed to find an answer which will satisfy you. And I'm optimistic that we can do that. But let me tell you about some other things that are happening which I think are also important. And I know your number one issue is employees' free choice. The stimulus package, the stimulus package, as Governor Rendell and Senator Casey said last night, was passed because of my vote, because of my intervention. And when you talk about, when you talk about when you talk about pressure and heat, and I feel the pressure, and I feel the heat, and I know it, and I had a hell of a lot of heat and a hell of a lot of pressure from the Republican Party to vote the straight line, obstructionist party line Republican vote, and to deny Obama, President Obama, the stimulus package. And that package means a lot of jobs a lot of jobs and really the ultimate answer and what you're talking about on employees free choice are jobs that's what you want and that's what you need and yesterday yesterday i brought 115 million dollars to the locks and dams of western pennsylvania which support 218,000 jobs and which will add an additional 3,000 to 3,600 jobs. And from being your senator for 29 years, I've worked for jobs, and I know this state like the back of my hand. I know about the jobs at General Electric from Erie. I know about Toby Hannon, 3,000 jobs, union jobs. I know about a 45-foot channel in Philadelphia to bring jobs to that community. 